Dr. Umar, my brother loves white women. How can I redeem him? Don't redeem him. Release him to the bunny brigade. Don't save the snow bunny lover. We got to stop trying to save the snow bunny lover. If your brother is addicted to the bunny, send him to the bunny brigade. Send his ass to the ice storm. Send him to the snowstorm. Don't try to save your brother. Give him to the snow bunny mafia. Let that Negro go free. It only takes a little bit of white brainwash to activate the cool chip. First of all, he don't even know what to do with all that. She need an unapologetically African alpha male to handle that. He can't handle that. He don't even know what to do with that. If you are not black, and if your mate ain't black, you're not coming to my convention. Let me read this title, y'all. You're not pro-black if you're dating white women. My enemies are sending white women to set me up. <laughs> Man, look, okay. I just don't, I don't take Dr. Umar serious because I've seen too many clips of him being too funny. Like at first he was almost on a Charleston level on like, he'd get on live and make fun of people. So I just don't know if he's serious, but at the same time. They say he's here to be a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I guess, bro. Well, dude, what you did he, let's see, let's see, yeah, let's I look guess. that up. Like, he must let's look, look that up. up. Yeah, I don't know, you can put a Sheet, doctor. I'm a doctor, God damn it. <laughs> doctor, take glory. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he graduated from Miller's Millersville University. Uh, PhD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In psychology. Yeah, well. <laughs> this Wikipedia, bro. I'm gonna be honest That's though, y'all. Wikipedia? Oh, damn. Even though, yeah. School is just following directions, y'all. Unless you choose nah, bro, a hard major. Nah, bro, I don't think he's serious, bro. I, I, but he might. He I gotta see a nervous. picture, bro. I think he's serious. I think he is too. It's no picture of him on the diploma. I think he's racist towards white people. He gotta have, it's a picture. It had to be a picture of him on the diploma, bro. Yeah, bro, but after this picture right here, it's all I need to see right here. Let me see. He got a, got a suit on with a fitted cap. <laughs> I don't know, guys, but uh, we do have somebody working up, like we said, Charleston White, on Dr. Umar to get him on the channel. That would be that so would be funny. funny. <coughs> so, I mean, on, it's on Twitter. It's been a thing on all social media platforms. It's been a thing that people are saying, if you're a mixed child, you're not black. Yeah, they try to say you black. Which, which, I mean, you know, you're mixed, you know, so I can't really argue with that. Okay. Hey, I'm mixed, y'all, so I'm not mad, man. You know, I don't know, man. But I don't like, take offense. Let's see what he say, though. Some people said, I seen on Twitter saying he's black is you know that's racist you know what i actually thought yesterday name a conservative on social media that's black that doesn't have a white girlfriend or wife that doesn't yeah or husband candace on ot uh, that's only two i know though no uh, uh i just had another one damn who did i think about well who did i have who did i have hmm. oh damn i just thought about it's, one. it's something out there bro they no, probably it's definitely just, something out there it's, definitely it's just it's so crucified you know to, yeah to, to, to yeah. speak out about it you know and i feel like a lot of Black women get mad about conservatism. Not that, that like not a, a, a black man that likes white women. A lot of times, a black woman will be offended by that. Almost not offended. Yeah. I, I don't know why. Speaking from experience here, y'all. If a black girl comes up to me and be like, "Oh, you like white girls," and I'd be like, "You know, I like all girls." Like they'll mm -hmm. almost like say that I'm wrong for that, and I'd be like, "Well, I just I don't understand that, man." A man. kill is a kill. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Can you be pro-black if you married to a white woman? And can you be pro-black if you biracial? Okay, L let me take the second question. Can you be pro-black? And I hate the word pro-black, but can you be pro-black if you mix race? Of course you can. I don't take any issue with a mixed race African. For me, it's a two-pronged test. Number one, are you biologically African? Are you the direct descendant of African people? Do you have a black parent? If you do and you identify with the race, I accept you as a brother or sister, no different than anybody else. So for me, there's no issue for mixed race Africans. Many of my heroes were mixed race Africans. You see, it's even been suggested that the great Nat Turner might have been a mixed race African. Bob Marley was a mixed race African. Booker T. Washington was a mixed race African. What? So. We don't oh, no, take no, issue no. with that because we're not yeah, responsible for how we got game. here. And our mothers on the plantation wow. had no control over who decided to rape her that night. You understand? So we do not reject the children. 
If no, they actually have like a, a show on Netflix and it was showing Booker T. Washington. They had the most light skinned brother I've ever seen in my life. I actually, I was actually shocked. I had to pause this episode. For real? Yeah, because it was like a lady trying to get like a, a sponsorship for her salon. It was like showing like a long time ago. And it was the people trying to get like sponsorships from Booker T. And I'm talking about bro. He was like logic. Wow. The guy in the show though. But wow. you know, that, that didn't mess me up though. That's crazy. Mothers on the plantation had no control over who decided to rape her that night. You understand? So we do not reject the children. If you identify though, that's the key. Cause you do have mixed race Africans who say, I'm not black, you know, I'm multicultural, I'm multiracial. If they come with that nonsense, I reject them. <laughs> because what you're telling me is you don't wanna be in with us. You understand? So if they are coming with any ideology or identity other than black African, so be it. You don't want to be a part of this. No problem. I'm not trying to claim you. Go on your way. But if you say, listen, I'm black. I know I'm black. Yes, my mama is white. Yes, my daddy might be white, but my, you know, my, my, my mom is black. My dad is black. I'm black. I've been black my whole life. I know that's how the world sees me. That's how I see myself. Get in where you fit in. I have. So he's basically saying if you choose being black over white, then he accepts you. I just don't think is we, that not what when we come into races. That's pretty much what I'm not getting. Why? Why is everything the word identify? Identify. Yeah. Why does it like, matter? I did, which race do you identify with? But you got to do you okay? Well, keep it a hundred. You, you got to classify people in a certain. You know. No, but saying classifying and identifying is different. Like my identity, I have to be a. But I'm I'm just me. Like you know? I mean, it's it's, it's white Africans. Like it's kind of like saying like a guy that's white that you know that wears a lot of you know black nationality things like him. He wouldn't accept him in his group. And I feel. Like it's but messed up. Like, like Elon Musk is an African, but we don't call him a, a American African or African. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you know, it's just not funny to y'all though. Like that don't that don't, that don't be weird well, to y'all. I mean, he's from Africa. He so was why would we call him American African? We well, his parents, because the parents was from America, probably. You know? No, but no, his parents from, are South from African. South Africa. They're from South Africa. Okay, so what they call him a white African? I think so. Yeah, a white African. I can't. I they mean, they call him an African American. Who's not American? He's not American. His parents is there. Does he not just have a, citizenship and live in America? I don't know if he has citizenship, but it, either yeah, way, he, yeah, he, he got he, citizenship. So either way, though, he would just be uh, exactly white, what, technically from where he's born, he would be a white African. I, There's white people in South Africa, but look though, and then uh, that's why I don't like. Like I think it's just we think too deep into this shit because we do. technically, if you were to call a, a true African American, well, then that would be me because my dad was born in Africa and my mom was born in America. Yeah. So therefore I'd be African American. So if you were bo so technically y'all y'all just American. Oh, we don't know what we are. I'm calling but myself. your descendants are from Africa. But the white people they oh, don't say yeah, white yeah. people just say they're American, but their descendants aren't from America. Their descendants are from Ireland or yeah, England yeah. or wherever. So they don't identify as they just say they're American. So if you're born in America, yeah. you're just American. I, well I'm just saying I'm a, I'm a black American man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where I'm from. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah I was told I was so old apparently. My great grandmother and them was Native American. That's what I'm saying. You know, so like, I, that's what I'm saying. I technically could be more Native American than you I don't, could yeah, be. You don't even really know for so real. So I just say, you know, I'm black. You know, so yeah. all these, yeah, all these, uh, it's too we think deep. Too deep, and stuff. Too that's deep. All, I don't think we should identify, like, we identify gender now. We identify race. We identify this. We identify that. No, but seriously, though, when y'all hear this guy, does it, is it not funny? Like, are y'all, like, seriously, like, is it, it bothering y'all? No, it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't bother me at all. Because I've been seeing this dude, so yeah. I already know what he all But is he not funny, though? People like him. Is he not funny to y'all? I think like, it's it just funny seems, sometimes. It's, sometimes it's I think, hilarious. Sometimes I think he's a, he's a little too critical. It's, it's kind of divisive sometimes. I heard he'd be a story. It's very, it does, I feel like it's very... It's, it's very he, divisive. He, he he's, to, he's very... But us, it's not a humor to y'all. He's very us versus huh? them type. Is, is this not like humor to you? Humor? Yeah. Well, I mean, I find it humorous because I don't take him serious. But he's dead ass serious. I would say his delivery is humorous, but I don't think his intent is to be funny at all. I think yeah, he's being dead serious. serious. Yeah. And the fact that he's serious kind of takes the humor out of it. No, his yeah. like, But his delivery is definitely funny. Because we see over, we like, we don't just, yeah. people who look up to him and think he knows all and all that, like, they see it, he's he spitting that real. No, because like, yeah, I, I think he's an intelligent man. He'll come on with that bit with some crazy facts that you think, we don't know if they're facts or not, but, yeah, but either like, way, mind blowing. Yeah, just because you, you know, study some facts, that don't mean I need to follow you and your ideas. No, yeah, you. yeah, no, no, definitely not. Yeah, definitely you want to know what I just thought about? I just want to see the rest of the video. You know what we watch? You know when we watch that Breakfast Club? 
how do you know a black person cop a Mercedes? Because when you buy a car, you don't put no. Do you put your race down when you cop a car? Remember when he had that percent about the Mercedes? I don't know. No, well, I, I don't even know what you're I talking did. about. Hmm? Oh, him? That's a good question. Where did the data come from? Can you remember he was talking about majority of black people's buying Mercedes? Is well, I mean, that's just what you see, though. I guess he bought it based that. But he, he had a, a percentage. Stat? Yeah, he had a stat. So I that means that's that had to be collected by someone. I don't know. I have no idea, bro. I just find him very humorous because uh, you look up his funny moments. It is, oh my God, this guy's hilarious. Bro. But if you say, listen, I'm black. I know I'm black. Yes, my mama is white. Yes, my daddy might be white, but my, you know, my, my, my mom is black. My dad is black. I'm black. I've been black my whole life. I know that's how the world sees me. That's how I see myself. Get in where you fit in. I have no issue. I don't care if you light, bright, blue, black, purple. I don't care if you got green eyes or black eyes, nappy hair or curly hair. It don't make a difference to me. If you got the blood of Africa in you and you identify with us, I make no differences amongst us. Now, the other question, can you be pro-black and you date white? Absolutely not. Because <laughs> when you marry a white woman, you're marrying into her community. You don't just marry a woman. You marry the family and you marry the community. So how can you be for African people marrying into the group that has historically and systemically oppressed your people? That doesn't make any sense. I play for this team, but I'm over here practicing with this team. <laughs> this is the it's, team it's, I belong to, we just but I'm over there trying to help them competing. win. That doesn't make any sense. You cannot marry a white woman and not be loyal to the white agenda against African people. It, it, it's no way around it. It's like this when I see so black funny, men who bro. say, I only date white women. They give them You are making out. a political decision. Who you date is a political decision. Who you marry is a political decision. Who you make children with is a political decision. Hmm. If He's you not, are not, marrying that, white, that, sleeping that, white, you don't think it's political decision? white, no. procreating no. white, your wife is your so loyalty. No, 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 no. I think uh, who you bury is a 100% emotional decision. Well, some Based people, you it depends on your emotion. status. Well, some yeah, stuff yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's an emotional decision. That's why, but it, it, turns into, it, it turns into a political decision. The, 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 if you're looking at your relationship, if you the, if, if, it's, if you see it as political, then you don't have no emotion and it wasn't love to me, then that relationship probably Yeah, it depends on how you were raised. you married, so, oh, she's black, so I'm going to marry her. A lot of things tie into that. That's almost a... Like That's almost time. affirmative action, like for for who you who you go marry. You like yeah, they're gonna I be mean, black, so that eliminates. <sighs> so now I have to choose someone black. So you might choose someone that you don't even like that much because they black, just because you feel like you gotta choose a black person because Doctor Umar told you to. Yeah, I mean, look, he's kind of like he's kind of like the um, the most racist guy in America. Uh, this is basically <laughs> he is literally racist. he's literally like that. Like, I'm the most racist guy in America. He stands on his pro white side. This guy stands on his pro black side. So it's kind of like the same thing. Both are funny. I think if you're pro-black or white, white division, it's hilarious. They both say don't mix. And, and I think, like, I don't mean to go back to this topic. But we're seeing in the Middle East, when you try to separate two races of people that don't work, no, you got to live yeah. together in peace for it to it be do, It doesn't work. But, you know, some people, you know, just, I ain't going to say they're stubborn, but, you know, they just believe what they believe. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just watch I mean, the guy. He's hilarious. I mean, bro. I don't know. He's no, an intelligent no, I'm not, person. He has I'm, an not, I'm just saying my, what I think. Yeah. No, I don't know. His reasoning behind his opinion. I mean, I guess that I see how that can make sense to somebody yeah i can i'm not gonna sit here and say like it was completely blasphemous like, i could see how that makes sense to somebody but no definitely definitely i don't definitely. know i don't really think it's as deep as they make it like it's, it's us versus them type mentality like, that's he said this like, team that team like i'm like bro like, like, come on now it's not it's really is it really that serious i mean i see what he's saying though like you can't he, pro black okay okay if you say you're pro white then it means like you're for white people if you say you're pro black then you're pro for but why can't you just be pro for People. You can be. That's what we are. Okay. But he's identified yeah, as a pro black. Yeah. That's, so you can't I, I think that's a problem. Pro -black I think that is a big then, problem with America. Yeah, yeah. You can't. He said you can't identify as pro black and then go. You know, date a white woman. And then he said the, also another justification was because of what white people did to black people in the past. Well, yeah. Well, that means you I, shouldn't be friends with white people by his logic. You shouldn't do business with white people by lo by his logic because yeah. you giving the white man money. You helping. It's that's a, a, it's a team. Flawed. It's that's our team versus their team. Ideology. Like it is not. I think that ideology is very hard. Harmful. I, I think it's more with Dr. Ubar. I, I think it's more harmful yeah, than it see, is positive. Pro black just is yeah, basically black power, you know. So you know that's what he believes. I mean, hey. Decision. If you are marrying white, sleeping white, cohabitating white, procreating white, then your loyalty 
is to white people. <laughs> Get over there and stay over there. If somebody said this, <laughs> the, the worst rules. <laughs> Bro, so, the most racist guy in America said that. Okay. And he's funny. And look at his name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, no. This, look what you call him. Yeah. We can damn near say this is just this a Dr. Uma. Why we call him Dr. Joe yeah, yeah. Smith? That's the problem with America. Yes, you're all right. But this guy, just, uh, it's just funny to me. This is just humorous. To white people. I don't want to keep going. Get over there and stay over there. How white females try to get at you? Uh, yes. When I was an undergrad, at Millersville University in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, I had a white fellow psychology major, very nice person, nothing bad to say about her. Her name was Beth. And Beth had a very big crush on me. I never forget it. We went to the Million he Man March, hit. the first one, October 16th, 1995, I believe it was. And we came back from the Million Man March and we was in psychology class and I had to go up to the front of the desk to talk to my professor. And when I got back to my desk, there was a card on my desk, but I didn't see her put it there. So I asked everybody, did y'all see the card? And everybody said, well, nah, we don't know who put it there. So I opened the card up and all of this glitter and confetti and stars popped out. Man, and she said, congratulations for going to the Million Man March. And, you know, I like you and we need to get together. And, you know, she had a big crush on me and she let it be known. And I respect her as a human being. She never mistreated me, no issue, but I could never date her because my loyalty is to my so community. He, okay. In graduate school, I had the same situation. <laughs> In my professional life, I had the same situation. I have regularly uh, been approached, proposition, however you want to say it, by white females, and no disrespect to them, but my loyalty is to black women. I've never dated anything but a black woman, so I could not do that. Um, I've dated two Latino sisters, but that's only because they were Latino Africans. But once I learned that they did not identify <laughs> with the race, even though they had our blood, then those relationships ended, you see. So you got to be African in order for me to uh, entertain hey, anything funny, serious bro. with you. You be who you bro, are now. Do they try to get at you? That's so funny. <laughs> he hit the Charleston, bro. Yeah, that's he's he's dead yeah. ass, bro. I this is his character. I think this is his character. I don't think he's dead ass, too. I think this is his character, bro. I don't think this is a character. Hey, nah, this is too funny, bro. It's, like, how you gonna contradict yourself like that? He said there was African <laughs> Latinas. <laughs> And the certain as I learned, they wasn't ever, they didn't identify oh, with that. Oh Who do you identify God. with? Please tell me right now before I mess with you. But that's a whole different culture. There ain't no such thing as African Latinas. What yeah, the hell? Yes, it is, bro. What? Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, that's African Latinas. Man, but that's a different culture still, though. Okay, but still. He wanted you to be black, even though you're oh from Puerto God, Rico and Dominico. Oh, uh, man. I, I, we I like weren't even supposed to react to this whole clip. It's just too funny. A buddy. kill is a kill. Who you are now? Do they try to get at you? <laughs> they do but not to my face. So in college, it's to my face. On the job, it's to my face. Now it's in the inbox. It's through the text. So I regularly get messages from white women, Asian women as well, Asian women and white women move, who will send me a text message, a picture of themselves. I'm interested in you. I know you don't date outside the community. Nobody has to know. Could we at least just have tea and talk? I just want to pick your brain over some things I'm working on. They'll be in my Instagram. Yes, I, I, I probably get that maybe five or six times a month. He living like that. And let me be honest. I think some of them are being sent. <laughs> you know, I think some of them are being, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah some of them are being sent. Up. I think some of my enemies in the black community no, are sending them. I think some of my enemies in the white community are sending them. I don't know how many of them are genuine. <laughs> I think a few of them are genuine, but I think most of them are part of a scam to try to uh, yeah, test me I do to it. see if I'm really yeah, about I what I claim you. I stand for. <laughs> I test them for sure. But I tell you this, my biggest concern is not the white women because I'm not going to date them. You know, that's just a violation of my principle. Um, <laughs> the sisters would be my biggest concern because what the FBI and CIA does is they psychologically profile you. So when they psychologically profile me, the only possible weakness they could find with me is women. And when I say weakness, I don't mean that I'm weak for women. I mean that the only way we're going to get into his life is through a woman. He don't smoke. He don't drink. He don't party. He don't hang out. He don't. He, I, I'm a very old fashioned person. I don't need much. I can stay in the house, watch my movies, read my books. I don't have to leave the house. I'm good. I'm a very old soul. So how do you get at somebody who doesn't have any vices? 
My only vice is I'm a single, unmarried, heterosexual black man. That's my only <laughs> vice. So if they're going to come for me, they got to come through the female. There's no other way to get me. Crackish? You know, they can surround me with brothers, but I already know to look right and left. Keep my head on the swivel with the brothers because I look at what happened to Malcolm and I look at what happened to man, Garvey. Bro. I look at what happened to Kwame and Krumah, right. Patrice Lumumba. Man, Most of them were sabotaged Kumba, by Patrice the men Lumumba. in their inner circle. So I know to keep my head on the swivel around the brothers. The only way they could get me is through the sisters. And I've even had FBI no, people approach ass. me and tell me, people who support me, who are in the FBI. One sister told me, she said, they already have you profiled. They're going to start oh, sending people after ass. you. Please be careful. You know, if anybody comes up to you excited to work with you and they have no history of ever struggling for black people, you need to be really careful. I had another sister come up to me at a graduation. I spoke at a graduation in Philly several years ago. and She said, I'm an FBI agent. You would never even know it. I'm old enough to be your grandmother. This is what she said. I'm old enough to be your grandmother. And she was a sweet elder. And she said, I am an agent. I don't think she was sent to me. She was just giving me a heads up that you can't even trust the elders because they have, el if they think you're weak for elders, they will send you an elder FBI agent to infiltrate and bring you down. <laughs> but you can't be paranoid. You can't be paranoid because when I look at Malcolm, and when I look at not Martin, Malcolm done. X, bro, he done, he done, not he Malcolum done. X, you just he's talking done. on YouTube. He's done. Oh, bro, he's just hilarious, bro. I can listen to this dude for an hour because it's just so like it's just funny. It's just like a character, I can't, bro. bro. I can't do it, bro. It's Why he's bro. telling people to he marry what off, race? Bro. I mean, he's not even married himself. Exactly. It's always because he comes like the cheeks, bro. I already know what type, bro. He 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 he's is disrespecting like the that. black women by having sex with them and taking their souls from them and causing soul ties and not marriage. But I'm, he does have a lot of like. Hashtag views, or you know what I'm saying? So, do he like, got any kids? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Know. Don't let me find out he got trolling this dude <laughs> is the next this. level of funny. When Diddy Allen pulled him on him, trolling him, that might have been the funniest He took Diddy Allen money. He did. Hey, y'all, you know, I got say he took Diddy Allen's money. Yes, I, I, I got hey, Dr. Um, I want you to come on so money. we can talk politics. So, don't take you know, I'm not he, trying to follow you, but I it would be funny to see you follow. Hey, you know, you know, we should do what do you mean? He took his money, man. I think he uh, it's a video, bro. He took that boy, he sent him something to do a video or something. Yeah, yeah, he took yeah. his money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much did he send him? Probably like 100, 200. I, don't know. I, I think wondering. it was like 200, I think. I think something so. like that. I want to do a video with that Dumar, guys. If y'all would want to see that, please let us know. I got, I got a funny don't video. Don't let this nigga fool y'all, man. We're going to do hilarious, look, look, bro. Look. You know how he said they send the enemies? We're going to do a video, and we're going to give us a, a fine white woman. Hey, bro. And we're going to see what you're doing. I know just the one. We're going right to set him up. And then I'm if he don't worry like that. Juicy, booty, white woman. You know what? And then he's going to say, come on. Hey, no, I think it, bro, he's hilarious, but I seen him on TikTok. He said, I seen that white woman in the wall. Bigger boot I ever seen. <laughs> he said, ah, it took everything he <laughs> He broke his He's so funny, bro. He's hilarious. He said that? Yes, yes, bro. He's hilarious, bro. <laughs> we that's why I don't take him serious. I cannot take it. Bro, somebody see him at that nation, and it's all, like, I know that's all you had, sister. Thank you, sister Avanti. $10 coming on the cash app. Thank you, sister. Next time, make it 20 but thank you for that 10 I know you barely had that. Thank you, sister. Brother Wit, $25. Thank you, brother. You canceled the payment? Brother Wit, you canceled your $25? Must have a white girl. It's okay, brother. Love you anyway. But anyway. I appreciate it. No <laughs> way. Said, hey, bro, he, he, is he was Charleston before Charleston to me. Hell He's no. hilarious, Charleston the real nigga. He got too many funny clips. All right, guys. Let us know what y'all think, guys.